this video, I'm going to show you an incredible defense for gun tight that is going to really help you defend it. And it's going to come to us out of the DB Fire 2 in the dollar three two six formation. Um, you don't have to be in the DB Fire 2, but I recommend that you do come out in this play. What you can do is you can put in your audibles, you can put the cover for uh, cover for drop uh, defense. But what this does is it gives a, bl a blitz look at the pre-snap. And then what I like to do when I'm defending gun tight is we are just going to put our flats on 30, our curl flats are going to be on 5, and then our hook curls are going to be on default. Now, one of the key audibles that you can have as well, and you can kind of create this coverage out of a couple different uh, ways. Um, one of my favorite coverages to have is Cover 3 Cloud. I love to have these different coverages so that I can get into the zones that I want to get into. I actually don't use Spinner hardly at all anymore, so I'll, so we're going to put Cover 6 in that spot. And like I said, you're going to come out in DB Fire 2. So if they're coming out in Gun Tight, uh, Gun Tight has a lot to offer this year. It really, I think this might be the best year for Tight that Tight has been just because of the way it attacks the meta so well. Now, if you want to get my entire $1.32 defensive ebook, make sure you check out the Patreon. The link is down in the description below. So the Gun Tight presents a lot of issues for us in this formation, but this base look right here where we're just going to base a line and we're going to press it um, can give us some advantages. Now, there's some disadvantages as well, and I'm going to talk about those in just a second. But just sending this five-man pressure out of this is really, really, really good. Okay? Now, the disadvantage to tight, in my opinion, um, and what tight can do is they can attack you with corner route. So um, let's say that I want to send this, this this cover two blitz. And we could get at this cover two blitz in a couple different ways. One of my favorite right now is to turn this into a cover three to the wide side and essentially a cover two to the short side. Remember, my clouds are on 30 yards, okay? The problem with 30-yard clouds this year is when they're pressed, they don't get back. They just don't. And so what you're going to see here is if I run a concept like this to the short side of the field, a lot of times Calvin is going to get over the top. Now, what we're banking on is the fact that what you just saw happens where the pressure, the pressure, um, you know, is so good that they just, you know, they can't guard, they can't block it. Right. Um, but I want to show you kind of a, a coverage here uh, more, more, more so here. So if you take a look to the left, you're going to notice here that this 30 yard cloud by and large, doesn't he just doesn't get back for whatever reason? He does not get back um, on that on that defender. So there's a couple of things we can do um, to help this out. One of them is actually really simple, and that is to basically just simply leave the outside corners backed off. Um, you can do that, and that's fine. The problem with that becomes um, some of the other things that they can do from gun tight, which is basically this. Um, so let's say that we did something like this and, you know, we set up our, our coverage, you know, like so. And then I want you to look to the left. So these curl flats, they just aren't the best. And sometimes here they actually played pretty good. Sometimes you can just throw out routes against them or you just throw the flat. So just keep that in mind with this defense. Um, the other problem with this is a play like drive corner. OK, and this is where drive corner, I think, is such a critical play in the big picture of how you want to be running offense if you are a gun type player. So what drive corner can do for you um, is basically this. If I streak this left side guy against any cover two, that corner is going to get over a 30 yard cloud and he's going to burn him to the sideline. Another problem, <laughs> another big problem, in my opinion. Now, the same is true if I flip drive corner. And it's actually even more true uh, to the wide side of the field. So let's say that you know we're doing our coverage defense. Um, we'll put a third over here just to help us out a little bit. Um, but what you'll see here is if I streak and I have this corner, this corner route is going to just destroy every zone in the game. Uh, not every zone in the game, but every, every cover two in the game. You can't run cover two. You can't run cover two against tight um, if they if you're going to give them any semblance of time, okay? Any semblance of time. So that puts us in kind of a dilemma. And what I like to do against tight is this, um, especially out of dollar, is we're going to actually create a hybrid coverage. So the way we're going to do that is to the short side of the field, we're going to have that 30-yard cloud. 
And then to the wide side of the field, we're going to have a third. And then from there, we're just going to go crazy with our adjustments from a man coverage perspective. So what we're going to do is we're going to man these outside slots up on the outside receivers in the tight set. Then we're going to man the safeties up on the inside receivers in the tight set, like so. And then what I like to do is take that linebacker on the running back side and man him up on the running back. So you see, this is what we create. And then we want a third that right side. Now you can leave him in a, in a soft spot if you want to, but it's not very helpful against like a play like drive corner. But let's say they're just running, you know, standard bench. This is a pretty good little setup right here. They're running corner routes right into coverage every single time. Now, why, let's answer the question really, really quickly. Why do we want to put a cloud flat to the short side and a third to the wide side? Because a third is not going to get pulled if it is to the wide side. And what the third is going to do, and this is where we're going to bring it kind of back to drive corner and some of the things that your opponent can do to you out of drive corner if you're not paying, paying attention. Drive corner on the right side, if they have this streak, the streak won't affect the third. It won't clear the third out. So now the third is going to bracket this corner route. And it's going to take it away every single time. Of course, in Madden 23, you still catch everything. But we make our best effort. Okay? He's there, right? If it's a KO or whatever, you don't even have to have KO. Like, he's there. He's he's in position. What I recommend for this defense is have these four guys right here your best cover players. I really like putting inside shades up here. So, like, Cromartie and Trayvon Diggs, for me, would probably go here with inside shade. And then these guys... You know, maybe you could find like medium route knockout or some kind, some kind of KO ability um, to be to be fairly helpful in my opinion. Um, so that's what I would do. Uh, but anyways, so again, we'll just set this up, and you see here we are. So um, now I want to talk about drive corner to the left side. So drive corner to the left side is a little bit different, but it is still. Please understand, it is still the short side. This thirty yard cloud is going to get a little better. The space is not as much. So if they run this to the left, yes, he can get over the top, but look at how bracketed that is. That's not super open. Um, it really isn't, okay? Uh, and because you have that soft squat there. Now, that soft squat is actually really important, however, because if they run, let's say they run bench. Um, let me just show you what I'm talking about here. So what you're like, okay, so why wouldn't we just put thirds on both on, on both sides and, and call it good, right? Well, I'm glad you I'm glad you mentioned that because if we did that, then if you take a look at this play right here, you're gonna notice that. So we got thirds on both sides now. The problem is if they run bench and they put a streak here, this third is gonna be irrelevant. He won't play that, and you can throw that corner out all day long. So that's why we want to have a 30 yard cloud on the short side, and then ideally a you know, another, another zone. Now, another thing you can do is actually really glitchy. You can cross man your safeties. Now, why would this be helpful? I talked a little bit about this in another video, but basically the idea is we're trying to, um, the best route runner, route runners on the field in tight and the key routes you need to stop are the two inside guys, in my opinion. So, what we're going to do with this coverage defense is we're going to try to essentially make it so that their short and elite doesn't activate because by the time the coverage actually gets there, they've already made their cut, if you will. So let me show you this in the context of like a drive corner play. Let's say they go drive corner. You see here, he doesn't see he lights up, but he doesn't get any separation on Palomalu. And it's not because Palomalu, I, I actually deactivated all the inside shades and stuff for the practice mode tip. It's not because he has inside shade. It's because because it's because it's literally he gets there just in the right amount of time to be able to hit that after he's already lit up and made a cut. So he doesn't... Basically, you're, what I'm getting at is your man coverage doesn't dumb out as bad. Okay? Now, you don't want to cross man every receiver on the field because if you do that, then they can hit you with a streak. But what I'm getting at is in certain situations, you might consider, uh, you might consider cross manning these guys. Uh, I have found a lot of success with that. Not every play, but in certain situations, you might cross me on these guys. So now let's come back over here to the right side. Watch this corner out to Taysom Hill. He lights up, but he's running into a 30-yard cloud. Okay? So this is a really decent little 
kind of launching pad, if you will, for defending gun tight. One of my favorite coverages out of Dollar right now. Uh, I do think Dollar, uh, because we are starting to shift back to a zone meta, um, and really what we're doing is we're going into a hybrid meta. Dollar's good for a couple reasons. The biggest reason Dollar is good is because they can't tell what you're doing, whether you're in man or zone. That's the biggest reason why Dollar is good. Um, the Blitz makes Dollar decent, of course. Um, I actually think the Blitz is better in 3-3. So if you can find a way to make 3-3 like Dollar, I think 3-3 is the best defense in the game, um, in my opinion. So anyway, those are some things. Uh, I got all those ebooks in the Patreon. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of the video. 10 bucks gets you access to everything in the Patreon. All ebooks are included by joining. 10 bucks. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you over at the Patreon page.